Hi friends, this is Heather. Thank you for joining me today. This is my fourth layout using the December main kit for my creative scrapbook kit club. And um, it's actually a, a layout or design that I've done before. Um, it's a simple one, but it's one of my favorites. I just, if you know, you have a collection, you have lots of bits, um, you know, and scraps left over, um, and you want to, well, I like to <laughs> fit in as many of the patterns and the colors as I can sometimes. And on a Christmas layout, um, you know, the idea came to me to produce this design again, just because I love the mix of the colors in this collection. It's from Simple Stories. The kit came with um, the embellishments, the die cuts, and um, pattern papers. Not the entire collection, but then also it's inc included in the kit is some chipboard and brads from Echo Park, as well as some chipboard from Simple Stories. And it's their vintage Christmas, I believe. The most recent one so the patterns I love I love the mix of plaid and um, some of the patterns are obviously a little bit too large so when you cut them down into shapes like this you don't get the full effect of you know or what that design was really but I still like the mix of the colors and so what I am creating is just a quilted look uh, the music note background was other than using a piece of white cardstock, which I do very often, um, I didn't want to use white because I felt like most of the background or the tone of the colors is more creamy, and I thought white would have been too much of a, a contrast. So I went with this, um, that pattern paper as my background, and f felt like it wasn't too busy. Um, and I'm not covering I probably cover two thirds of the background, but I really just cut two inch squares and then cut them in half, as you can see me doing there. And then I laid them all out and I love the way that it looks. I've done, I have done this before. Um, I think I laid it out a little bit differently in the other, in a previous layout, but it's simple, but it's effective and it looks good every time. So um, I just attach them. Um, on a diagonal and then I used my sewing machine to stitch through each of the seams I guess you could say with a zigzag stitch and so that took a little bit of time but I really love the way that it looks and it reminds me completely of a quilt so um, which I thought was kind of appropriate for the title that I had planned to use which was warm and cozy and honestly didn't have it wasn't really an explanation, I guess, of what was going on in the photo, but um, my girls, it's Christmas Day, and they're, you know, wearing their Christmas sweaters and um, snuggling up on the couch, so I just thought uh, it all worked together. And you just saw me adding some splatters on the um, background, and I think even a few spots on the quilted part of some watercolors. Um, I've done one layout, actually I've done three previous layouts, but I, I mentioned in one of my previous videos I had a really hard time matching the red in this collection with the with the watercolors that I had in my stash. So I used a mix of gelatos and some watercolors that I have from Hero Arts and my shimmers. And I just wanted to add a little bit of color on that top portion behind my photo. And other than uh, adding some embellishments or die cuts around my photo. I really didn't add too much else. I played around with adding some small bits in the little uh, quilted portions. I'm going to keep calling them that because <laughs> I don't know what else to call them. But um, I ended up going against that just because I felt like the pattern in the, the papers was enough detail for me. And um, I didn't want to overload it essentially. Um, so I'm just taking a few of the die cuts from the Simple Stories line. That's, um, I guess it's supposed to be like holly, but I was just bending up the leaves a little bit to give them some dimension. I do pop up um, some of the embellishments on uh, Fun Foam, which I just get from like Walmart or Michaels. And I love using that. So I have a huge stash. If you have not 
um, looked for that, you should. It's so inexpensive and you can cut it to whatever size you need. So in addition to the embellishments around my photo, I am just creating a uh, cluster down the bottom right just because I felt like I needed something down on the right hand side, but obviously I didn't want to add too much because there was already so much pattern paper, but I just added a couple of die cuts and chipboard, layered them up um, just in a small little cluster. And I add some hearts and stars, which are always a good way to throw in a little bit more color and a little bit more embellishing without <laughs> going overboard. Um, I think I've pretty much gone through most of the hearts and stars that were in this collection or in the kit. <laughs> um, I just, I always like adding those little bit of touches and I did add um, a couple of sequins here and there. And other than that, that's pretty much it. I think I am just um, gluing down the embellishment cluster in the bottom right. And I, I'm adding some thread, just some white thread, just because I know it doesn't give a huge barrier, but I felt like it added a little bit of barrier in between the background and the cluster. And that could be completely in my head, but it looks good to me. So <laughs> I'm not um, a big thread person. I don't add it to every layout, not even most of my layouts, but every once in a while I feel like it's appropriate behind a flare or just um, like in this situation. So sometimes I feel like it and sometimes I don't. Um, other than that, I haven't added my title yet because <laughs> I was going to put it on my photo and I waited until the last time, moment because I was just, I wanted to make sure I got it straight and I'm always so worried about adding things like that to my photo and then you mess up and then sometimes you can't get it off. Like, so you can't fix it because it's already ruined your photo. <laughs> it would have been really disappointing to have to reprint it at this point or start over. Um, and I also found that in this chipboard um, words. They're from American Crafts. So there was a six by 12 or two six by 12 sheets of chipboard words um, and phrases. They're kind of a wood grain, light wood grain. And then there were some um, little snowflakes there too that I'm going to add a couple. They weren't sticking as well, but you guys, I'm sure you've <laughs> come across uh, chipboard stickers, alphas. Yeah, they... They do not stick the best. So I definitely needed to add some glue. And I'm just using my uh, fine line bottle. Um, if you haven't seen that before, it is um, just a bottle that you can order off Amazon. I think you get a pack of two. And I add my uh, Scotch Quick Dry glue. I think the name might have changed by now, but um, I find that most people I watch on YouTube are using that glue. So. Um, just search for that if, if you're looking and I just uh, transfer it into that bottle and it takes me a very long time to get through it. I use very little than what I used to and I get very little dots, um, you know, just small spaces and I love it. I will have a hard time going back to any other liquid glue. So these are the final shots of my layout. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some inspiration of your own. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure you get over to My Creative Scrapbook Kit Club and check out their kits. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.